been talking a lot about Roger Federer's new aggressive game plan. Welcome to Jason Goodall, newest member of our ESPN family. He takes an in-depth look. Roger Federer's resurgence in form of late has been based upon an aggressive game plan, which has resulted in him surging forwards at every available opportunity. His best result at Grand Slam level last season was making the final at Wimbledon, where he won 70% of the points at the net overall, and hit 42% of his shots inside the baseline, which then allowed him to dictate play more readily. But it's not like this is a new game plan. When Federer won his very first Grand Slam title in 2003 at Wimbledon, he served and volleyed 86% of the time behind his first serve. Yet six years later in 2009, he did so just 7% of the time. What had been a trusted game plan had morphed into mere variation. Touch. And we're mixing it up with a little serving volley and oh so delicate. But that's all changed now. With two-time Australian Open champion Stefan Edberg in his corner, they've come to the conclusion that since Federer turned 30, the other members of the Big Four have become much more difficult to beat from the baseline. But they can be better by moving up the court at every available opportunity. the numbers back that up. In 2013, Federer only won four matches against his peers in the top ten all season, losing ten. But last season, with this aggressive game plan, he won 17 of those matches, losing just five, which is obviously a quantum leap. And one of the fundamental reasons for this is when he comes in, his shot selection is very intelligent. And here's a good example. This graphic illustrates where every volley landed in his match with Andy Murray here last year. But check out the red balls. Those are his winning volleys. But what might surprise you is that the vast majority of them landed short, which is highly effective because they're virtually impossible to chase down, even for the very best athletes in the world. So for Federer to have the best possible chance of adding to his Grand Slam talent here, Aggressive all-court tennis will surely have to be the order of the day.